All right, cadets, the day is finally here when I get to transfer my Xbox Commander profile on over to PC. Uh, I was told I should probably block out some of this, so I am. I left some of it for you to see here. Them's my credits, number of ships that I own, systems visited. What's this do? Oh, yes. Very, very competent. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Goodbye, Anaconda. We hardly knew ye. I think it's under options. Clear save. Can't believe I'm clearing this save, but I got to to transfer my character and keep my name, so no hesitation. If something goes wrong, I'll just complain about it on YouTube. Nope, not making a new commander, sorry. Yeah, my save's gone! All that hard work evaporated! All right, now we're doing the transfer, guys. <gasps> Copy in progress, you guys! If you want to copy or migrate your Elite Dangerous Commander like I've done, there will be a link in the description for you to click and follow. You can create a new account or you can use your existing PC account, but note that if you're using your existing PC account and you want to use your same commander name, you need to clear your save like I just did. It's, it's scary deleting all my progress right there as you saw. It's scary, and it is sad that I did just toss away that account that I now have a year's worth of, or more of the adventures on but that profile just doesn't have a fraction of what my console one has nor nor the history my console one has but so sad to see it go but this is the same thing but better copying process complete that was quick so as i understand it this can take a little while i wouldn't be worried if it even takes a day because it could depend on you know what time of day it is and how many people there are in the queue but this was really quick this was i don't even know if this was five minutes that I waited. So it was alarmingly easy. I might have to pull my keybinds over, but at least I have a copy of them all. But I know I should still retain my keybinds, right? Why would it have gotten rid of the keybinds? You know, it should still be in the settings under bindings folder. But I'll tell you if it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> guys, look at it's the spatula goose, guys. It worked. It worked super quick and easy present day why did it say that oh because it's odyssey so it might force me to do the odyssey tutorial again my keybinds are still here yeah that seems right Ooh, look at that crater oh my god i forgot how much i love this game guys i mean views like this i mean and feeling that you're like you're here like for real and like i mean like you can go anywhere you see let's uh skip training huh my final gift Born from a century of sacrifice. Our victory is delivered in this moment. That's almost the exact same speech they gave when they dropped the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Every every bar in the universe is just watching this military action. I don't know what's been going on with Thargoids guys at all, so one of y'all's gotta get me caught up here again guys if you want to have me on your friend list i'll accept any friend uh invites have to send it to me over again if you if you had sent me one in the past should be commander sepulcher geist yep i sure am double elite guys oh man my cockpit colors are all screwed up i gotta fix that all right i've updated and reloaded the ui oh it already looks like it's fixed in case you guys want to know the ui uh that i use is um called clean slate it's my favorite one uh good old galileo one of my favorite stations in the entire game y'all think galileo would be proud to be part of the federation alongside lincoln pretty pretty yet still technical you know and i haven't been in this ship forever man my beautiful crate mark ii spatula goose honestly my pc has better cable management than you do but i still love you now this is a bittersweet moment because um unfortunately oh wow oh that's cool what was i talking about Unfortunately, um, console players will no longer have any major updates, which means they'll never be able to get out of their ships and walk around like I'm doing because they won't be given Odyssey. That's very unfortunate. I talked about that earlier. It's not ideal. It's a little upsetting. Frontier made a tough choice, and they, they feel like that's the choice that they had to make. And it did seem like they had a genuine heavy heart with that uh, decision. But the good news is, just because you're transferring your file to PC, which is very well done and easy to do, by the way i'm very happy with this process this has certainly been a lot better than i thought it could ever be it worked like a charm i'm honest nothing ever works like that anymore you know but not only have they made made this 
transfer process as painless as they could make it, but it's not a true transfer, it's a copy. I still have my Xbox profile. I can still get on Xbox with this profile, with my ships and my character here, and play with my people on Xbox. That was definitely the right call to make, but what it's created is almost like a parallel universe in Elite Dangerous, and I think communities just need to remember to include the console players when they have their events and their expeditions. Just because the universes aren't one-to-one -one doesn't mean that we as the Elite Dangerous community don't have the ability to be creative and find solutions on how to include console players. In fact, I kind of look forward to what creative solutions we might find to include them. And again, this isn't the end for console players at all. They're not saying they're going to stop service for console players. They didn't even say they're going to stop updates for console players, just the major updates, which unfortunately includes Odyssey. But um, they don't even serve alcohol in these bars, so you're not really missing out on... Why is it shaking so much? Yeah, they don't even serve booze at these bars, like they're making a little RP bar and I can't even RP in it. You know, I know a lot of people don't like to role play in any way, shape or form, but I always enjoy a little bit of headcanon ish stuff for my character and what's going on around me. I enjoy a little bit of role play, a little sprinkle of it. All right. I'm not above that. I mean, if you're having adding little bars like this, like F dev needs to lean into it. I've said it already a million times, but like, oh, I can't sit down now. Oh, OK. But yeah, more of that, okay? It's going to be good for the game if they add a lot of RP elements. I promise you it will be. I turned off all their voices. The reason why I turned off all voice in this game was so um, my Tetco voice attack won't have anything to compete with, I guess you could say. But yeah, much smoother of a process than I expected. Oh, and one last thing for you guys to know before you do this transfer. If you have any arcs built up that's the uh, in-game currency for buying cosmetics and stuff that you earn over time or that you buy with money or whatever make sure you spend it prior to uh transferring your character over because the arcs is one of the few things that doesn't transfer over arcs squadrons and friend lists so just keep that in mind travel more i'm sorry nobody has the right to tell me that in elite dangerous not even you even though i guess all my commenters do every day and until next time cadets mm -hmm.